Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. One of the hardest things we do is have to ask for help. So if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling depressed or anxious, making that phone call can be hard to do, but it'll be the best thing that you can do. Often when we talk about change, we become resistant. Um, and it's usually due to the fear of the unknown, whether that is failure, whether that's being judged, or even success can be scary. I will work with you as we journey through the different processes of therapy. I will meet you where you are at and make sure that you find the path that leads you to harmony and peace. I love what I do and the favorite thing about my job is watching the transformation of somebody coming in that's feeling broken, who has um, depression or anxiety, maybe low self-esteem if any at all, and seeing them bloom into a confident, happy, well-rounded person, that's what makes this all worth it to me. My clients tell me that I'm easy to talk to, non-judgmental, and really create a safe environment. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. I'm very honored and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mallory Ludwig and I'm a certified alcohol and drug counselor. What I love about working in this field is it's challenging and different every day. 95% of my clients are mandated, whether by court, DCFS, the Secretary of State, their job, or a family or friend has asked them to come. A lot of them are so confused, and their confusion is what made me want to be a counselor. I felt I had the special ability to help people understand things better, such as what the process is to satisfy the court or obtain their driver's license back. They are usually already so angry and feel defeated by the time they come to see me that they think I'm going to be another mean, rude, degrading person that treats them as another number. Then they meet me, and I'm this bubbly little redhead that loves to joke around. I try to make them feel as comfortable as they can without taking away from the seriousness behind the reason that they are here and try to affirm that I understand a little bit of how they're feeling. It's a great feeling once they realize that I'm there to help them complete their next step to reach their end goal, whatever that means to them. Uh, whether it be not use anymore, put whatever incident led them here behind them, satisfy the court, or get their driver's license or their children back for that matter. It's an amazing feeling to know that I've made a difference in people's lives, even if it's a minute thing, and I get to do that as a career. Hi, my name is Lori Hunter and I'm a licensed clinical social worker with certifications in trauma treatment and substance abuse treatment. I've known since I was in my 20s that I wanted to help other people, but it wasn't until I reached my 40s that I was able to follow my dream. I met a social worker and he soon became my mentor and told me that if we don't take risks in life, we are never able to accomplish what we want. So I soon found myself enrolling at Aurora University in their master's program in social work and I knew that I would reach my goals and follow my dreams of helping many people. While at Aurora University, I learned much about myself and many more things about humankind. One of my professors had us do a poverty simulation where we lived with the homeless people in Aurora, Illinois for an entire weekend. Boy, was I in for a big shock. I learned so much respect for humans and what they go through in life not realizing that my life was so easy compared to what so many others go through. I think that experience alone helped me develop a respect for humans that I had never had before. Just as I learned that taking a risk and going to grad school was hard, I also recognized that for each person, taking a risk and coming to talk to a therapist is extremely hard. Society still has this mentality that mental health issues are not real and that if you need to talk to someone that you should be ashamed. Mental health disorders are real in our society and I do my best to see each person as a blank slate and to see each client as the expert on themselves. I use different techniques such as mindfulness, cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectical behavioral therapy, acceptance and commitment therapy, but especially I look towards the client to what their goals are and together we work on those goals and I help you achieve what you want in life. I view myself as a life coach to help you reach your goals. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es José, José Meléndez, consejero de uso de sustancia. Aquí trabajando con Braden Consejo Center, uh, que somos una, una familia profesional donde podemos ayudar 
a toda la gente, acompañarlos en sus problemas, adicciones y buscar juntos una solución. Estamos aquí en Sicamor y tenemos este, otra uh, agencia en Elgin y en Rochelle para la comunidad hispana también, este, um, para ayudarles en sus problemas de DUI, problemas de violencia doméstica, problemas de enojo. Este, estamos trabajando aquí. A ver, corte de... Nuestra agencia ofrece una, una serie de servicios para toda la comunidad especialmente para la comunidad hispana que carece de, um, de dinero a veces de, para pagar en otras agencias. Nosotros les ayudamos a que ellos califiquen para que puedan tener estos servicios y puedan solucionar sus problemas en la corte o sus problemas personales también. Llámenos para cualquier consulta, por favor. Es importante su llamada, sus preguntas. Uh, yo uh, escogí este, este campo, este oficio, porque me siento muy, muy bien poder ayudar a otra gente a salir sus problemas, especialmente problemas personales de adicción, problemas legales, problemas que venimos uh, eh, cargando de generación en generación, problemas que se adquieren a través del, del medio ambiente y problemas que también que son psicológicos que la única manera que sabemos y um, eh, solucionar estos problemas emocionales, emocionales es usando alcohol y drogas. Nosotros pues les ayudamos aquí en Braden Consulio Center en, en su idioma a, a solucionar estos tipos de problemas. So, por favor llámanos para hacer cualquier pregunta. Este, tu llamada es muy importante. Nosotros estamos aquí para servirte servir a la comunidad, poderles ayudar uh, no solamente con los problemas legales sino personales y si no tenemos esos servicios aquí los podemos referir a otros lugares profesionales. Cuenta con nosotros. One of the reasons I got into counseling was to be able to give others the opportunity to express themselves and live the lives that they really fully want to live. When someone comes in to see me for counseling, they'll find someone who is energetic, who is humorous who is caring, non-judgmental, and is really willing to sit down and learn about each and unique individual who walks through my door. What I really love about helping people is for them to see those aha moments or those revelations that they have where they see what we do in session and they can take it out into their world uh, with a brand new unique perspective that is positive and healthy for their well-being. Helping clients to find their inner strengths is one of my approaches. Within strength-based counseling there's a lot of unique perspectives that can help each individual client find their own growth and be able to shape sessions in the way that they want to. Whether using traditional approaches or using creative approaches, I like to find and bring unique um, creative interventions into my sessions like music and art that can help a client to grow and shape themselves in the way that they feel is best for them. Sometimes we all need help discovering or rediscovering who we are. One of the benefits of counseling is being able to sit down with someone who is just present with you who is able to actively listen about the good and the bad that's happening so we can work together to provide a new positive perspective. My name is Jennifer Rogers. I am one of the domestic violence counselors here at Braden. Um, and I came into this career a little bit later in life. Um, I had a situation where I used to be a pastry chef and due to health concerns, I couldn't do it anymore. So went back to college at 40. So um, the fact that I've been able to do that, I feel is um, a part of what anyone could do faced with that version that they can just move on and try something different. Um, domestic violence, if you're watching this video, it means that yourself or maybe someone that you love has been um, accused of or has had a charge against them for domestic violence. What domestic violence is in the state of Illinois is really different than what a lot of people think it is. You could have a toxic relationship where both people said and did things to hurt each other and get a charge. You could find yourself in a financial 
helpless situation and the way that you knew how to get out of it was, or even to feel good about it, would be to yell at the other person you're with or hit them. Um, so people that come through our programs here for um, PAEP or for domestic violence are always just regular people with regular lives. They have kids, they have stepkids, they've got a girlfriend, they um, have a boyfriend. We have women perpetrator classes and men perpetrator classes. Um, one thing you can see for sure when you come here is that you're not going to have any judgment passed against you. I think this particular um, charge or problem, um, you're, there's so much societal feeling that you get that if you have this charge you're a man beater or a woman beater and a lot of times it's far from the truth. So um, we go through a lot of different material to teach you how to express your feelings and to communicate with each other um, and to find out yourself what it is that's causing this. Though studies show us that the majority of people that our domestic batter grew up that way. It's not always that way what comes through our practice. Um, and I think that's just really just indicative of the way society is today. There's a lot of outside pressures in relationships. And, you know, social media can make a big play in how our relationships are played out. So we learn how to have not so much of a great need for power or control in your relationship. So um, if you're watching this, your family is in some kind of turmoil or you are yourselves, and I hope you can um, decide to come in and see us. We have classes in the evenings and um, so you don't have to miss work to be here in a couple days a week, so that's helpful. And we'll get through it. We get through it and as you're getting through it you realize that there's good positive things that come out of it so thank you